yo what is going on youtube thank you guys for tuning into another video i hope you guys are having a great day hope you guys are doing well if you guys are new make sure you guys hit that subscribe button drop a like and a comment let me know what you guys would like to see and in this video we're going to be talking about how you guys can stay motivated while not being a part of the roster or while not um, getting some playing time so the team is currently in detroit city right now we have a very important game uh coming up this weekend you know it's a perfect time for me to make this video for you guys because uh, I'm currently not playing right now and I didn't make the roster so I'm just going to be taking you guys throughout my day and talking to you guys about how I stay motivated and the things that I do you know to get back into the lineup or to work even harder and to keep improving regardless of what's going on so uh, it is currently 7 30 right now we're just about to go head out to meet Jake we're going to head out for training but uh, I got everything I got my banana as usual I got my water I got my boots everything in the car so we're all ready to go uh, so I'll see you guys when we get to the field and when we get to Jake Let's go. Here. Yep. They told me that I always had to be good. All right, y'all. So we made it to the field. It is almost 8 a.m. Uh, Jake hasn't pulled up yet, but it's the grass field right behind me. You guys can't see it, but it's actually a really nice grass field. So we're probably going to train here for the next hour, hour and a half. We've been through We've been doing 8 a.m. Uh, throughout the whole week. So every time we come here and um, since we're waiting for Jake, I thought I'd bring in the first point of this video and uh you know a lot of people don't want to hear this but it's uh i think the first point into staying motivated um you know while not playing is to control what you can control so you know a lot of people get upset or they get frustrated when they're not playing they're not in the roster and they feel like they're training well you know during training i feel like uh, i'm doing really well you know um, some of the guys are even telling me good job anthony keep it up and so at the end of the day the coach is a coach that controls um you know who brings it, who he brings into the lineup so um you know it's been it's been a tough time for the past couple weeks because i haven't been playing but that does not mean i'm going to stop grinding and so what i mean by control what you can control is you don't want to have a bad attitude towards your teammates bad attitude towards your coach you don't want to be upset with anything you want if anything you should use that motivation to train even harder right so if you're controlling what you can control which is doing the right training right um showing up to practice early doing all those things you know helping out after practice helping out with the gear all that type of different stuff is gonna you know uh really help you and uh, uh, benefit you in a positive way and so uh i'd say that's the that's the first thing you know control what you guys can control i promise you if you're putting in that work and you're grinding and you're controlling what you can control your time will come so uh, i think jake is just pulling up now so let's see him i think he's gonna park to my right so let's see what's up to him yes sir what is what's up bro you good How you always got a smile on his face ready to go y'all so we'll see you guys uh, we're gonna start training so i'll see you guys soon nothing like the birds tripping in the morning sure. let's get this work training? yo what is up and welcome to the voiceover so before our session we obviously got into our warm-up just to make sure our muscles was nice and loose nice and ready so that way we could prevent injuries and as usual you guys know i love the two touch game we ran a couple games of two touch before we got into our uh full training session i like forgot to then this I was morning text you. this morning
touch. No! <laughs> Should I take that? Nah, I'll take it. Tutu? Are you sure? Yeah, come on. I can take that. No, no, I'll take it. All right guys, so the first drill that we got into is just the five cone drill that I've been doing for over five years now. And it's just a directional touch, but you're bouncing the ball in front of the double cones as you're taking your touch either to your left or your right foot using which uh, ever part of the body you want. So just really simple. And this one is a great drill for your touches and as well as works fitness. So you work one minute on and then you guys rotate and the next person does the same thing. Church, church. Good. So as you build through the drill, you will notice that we add a certain variations such as men on and turn, and it's just something to keep you on your toes and to keep it game realistic. So if Jake tells me to turn, I'll take my touch and turn. If he says there's a man on, I'll take my touch forward through the gates. And it's just to keep us on our toes and keep it game realistic. Yep. Yeah. Man on. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Open. Touch. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So the next drill that we worked on is a really good drill for fullbacks and midfielders. So it's another directional touch drill. And it's just really simple. You have a square that you make in with your cones and two cones on the outside and the goal is to take your touch towards the cones on the outside dribble and pass so really simple a nice and easy drill you guys can use to work on your directional touches where you're working on either going left or right So the last row we worked on was probably the most fun of the day, which are just the 1v1s. Now, really simple, what we did was we set up two little mini goals in the goal where you can score either front post or back post. And we also added a uh, mini goal to the side for crosses. So as a defender, you want to force them to the outside and try to keep them away from scoring. So um, how it works is if you score far post, you get three goals. Uh, three points if you score near posts you get one point and if you get a cross in it counts for two so we just basically played up to 10 and we played this on both sides so working on the left side and the right side
But anyway, no, let's go. So once we got done with the fending on the left side, we set up the same thing on the right side and it's so important that you're working both left and right. Even for me as a fullback being left footed, you guys will see Jake absolutely tears me up on the right side, but it's just good reps for me to get in and to practice it and to get better. This drill is also really good for you guys to build confidence and work on your 1v1s. So if you guys can try this, I highly recommend you guys to do so. Third time to try, here we go. All right, y'all, so we just finished our session. What time is it? It's like what? 10.15. 10.15, so we just finished grinding out the one-on-ones. Really good session with my guy, Jake. You quality. guys, very quality. You guys already yeah. know, man. We put in that work 100%, which is really good. Now we're going to head back home, have a shower, get a haircut, do all that stuff, eat. And then tonight, I think we're probably going to head out, get some dinner or something because we've really been grinding all week. So I'm going to treat myself a little bit tonight, which should be yes, nice. Sir. But yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Time night coming up. <laughs> all right what is up y'all so it is currently 11 10 a.m i feel really good you know really good to get that uh first training session out of the way so then that way we have the rest of the day to work out you know kind of work on some things chill a little bit and also i got something in the mail so uh, i'm gonna open it up soon but it's a surprise uh, super excited for that, but yeah, I'm just gonna get ready for uh, lunch. So I'm gonna have the usual three eggs, two oranges, I have some grapes, and I'll probably also have some carrots and uh, just a little bit. So then that way I can, you know, um, stick on the routine and just keep eating right, which is really good. And then in a little bit, I think Augie's gonna give me a haircut. He's outside actually grinding right now. Let me show you guys. That man grinding. Yes, sir. He's grinding. But yeah, so uh, I'm gonna get lunch ready, kick back for a little bit, start editing, uh, you know, start working on some things, start booking some people in for my online sessions. If you guys haven't heard already, but I am doing uh, private online training sessions or group as well. If you guys wanna book in, I'll have the link down below. It's, uh, it's gonna be hosted on OPSM, but the sessions are with me. So I'll be running all of them. If you guys are interested in into that, I'll have the uh, link below. Uh, so let's get to cooking and then I'll see you guys in a little bit. Let's go. Alright guys, so we got our final product. You got three scrambled eggs. I threw in 
a little bit of ham in there uh, just because I ran out of some tomatoes. So a uh, bowl of grapes and then the oranges. I'm going to throw some ketchup on the eggs. Some people think it's weird, but <laughs> I like it. And then thank you to Poppy and Julio for putting me on, man. You guys, Valentina sauce slaps. So I'm just about to eat this. And then I'm probably just going to be working a little bit. So once I'm done eating, I'm probably just gonna work. Uh, Nick's got somewhere to go, so we're he should be back in about 30 minutes or so. I'll work until he gets here. We got some errands we gotta run, and then hopefully I can get a haircut from Agui, and then go to the gym later, and obviously bring you guys along with me. So I'm gonna crush this, chill for a little bit, and then I'll see you guys in a little bit. Let's go, y'all. All right, y'all. So. so we have just been chilling for the past hour. It's almost one o'clock now. I'm still waiting for Nick to come back home. Uh, so while we're here, we're just going to get into the second thing that, um, you know, second advice or second way that you guys can stay motivated during your time uh, while you're not playing or while you're not on the bench. And uh, the second advice that I can give to you guys, if you're a player that's in my current situation, is just to use your time wisely. And I don't mean by just using your time wisely on the field. So obviously you guys are gonna be working on your crafts. So working on the things that you guys need to improve in order to be starting and in order to be playing. But I mean, using your time wisely during that time. So um, like I said, our, t our team is away for a whole week. So this whole week, I really got to, you know, really focus onto the gym aspect, working out every single day and really following that strict you know um diet that i've been always telling you guys about that i need to be doing so um you know just working on your on your craft and using your time wisely whether it's on the field or off the field even if it's you know um studying games watching players if you're a fullback and you want to play you know better and you in the games and you want to be more confident watch fullbacks that are, are gonna help you enjoy that. You know what I mean? So during that time, you wanna just make sure you're using your time wisely. You don't wanna just be you know, upset that you're not playing and, and not working out, not training to get better. So second thing is definitely use your time wisely and just um, you know, put in that work. I know it's like very straightforward, but if you're using your time wisely, you're working on the things off the field, you're studying the game, you're watching how you know uh, wingers are taking players on, you're watching how strikers are scoring goals, that's really gonna boost your confidence and it's also gonna you know help you get back into the starting lineup. So second thing is to use your time. But while we're here and while we've got a lot of time, so I got a shipment in from the amino company and you guys know i've been looking to recently get into amino acids and taking different types of things and you know to better prepare my game and obviously get stronger so they sent me a package and i'm excited so i've actually never tried anything like this so it's gonna be my first time but first thing that comes out is just the uh, pamphlet little packet here it just shows you what we got. And I think they sent me the perform. So this is um, something you guys can take before workouts. And so let's check out the box. Let's see what's inside. So they sent me, so this is it right here. I think the flavor uh, is uh, the most popular one, which is the blue uh, raspberry. So I've actually, you know, recently just starting to learn more about amino acids and um, learning how this can help you perform, you know, on and off the field. So. Today, before my workout, I think 30 minutes before, I'm gonna um, try it out and obviously let you guys know. But uh, I mean, they're not sponsoring the video, but please shout out to Amino for sending me this to try it out. And then um, we'll go from there. So yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully I can see a, a huge difference in my, in my game and it can help me perform even better. So for the next little bit, we're just gonna be kicking back um, waiting for Nick to come back. Like I said, we have a couple of errands that we have to get done today. So uh, with that being said, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I think Ugly's outside. He's still grinding. So love to see it. I'm going to get to work and get some things done and I'll see you guys soon. So this is what it looks like in the water bottle. Actually, it's really good. So it says that it's recommended to have it 30 minutes before training. So uh, we're about to hit the gym. So let's, uh, let's try it out. Mm. Wow. That's 
good. Tastes good. I think this is their most popular flavor. I might have said that earlier, but that's actually good. All right. Let me know if I did that okay in the comments because that is the first time I've ever taken pre-workout or something along those lines. So all done. Uh, we're going to head out soon. So our workout's going to be in about 20 to 30 minutes. And I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you guys posted. I'll try and show you guys as much of the workout as I can. My phone's going to die, sadly. So I'm going to charge it as much as I can before we leave and on the way to the gym. And then uh, I'll see you guys at the gym. Yo, so we just pulled up to the gym and for some reason it's closed. Uh, it says Friday from 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. But for some reason it's closed. So uh, closest one is 20 minutes away. So we're trying to figure it out. But this this thing actually really threw us off. I had bare energy, man. I was really trying to put in that work. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. All right, what's up, y'all? So it is currently 5.30 and uh, we just got back to the house. So since we couldn't get a workout in, it's super blown, you know. Uh, honestly, I was really upset about it. So I thought I'm gonna come back here, get some ball work at least minimum. And then tomorrow we're gonna go into the gym and crush it. As you guys can see, my guy, my guy Ogwe's already crushing it. He's crushing his workout. So yeah, no complaints, no days off, man. So we're just gonna get this wall session in. Uh, big shout out to my guy, Julio. These are the shoes that you guys saw he got. He actually is letting me use them. So I'll see you guys. Let's get the workout. So it is six o'clock. Just got a good uh, 20 to 30 minute workout in. So as you guys can see, I'm all drenched, but really good workout. We made up for it, you know, for the gym being closed. And so it kind of brings me on to my last point or my last advice that I can give to you guys if you guys aren't playing or you guys aren't being part of the roster, which would be to be patient. You know what I mean? So uh, patience, as you guys know, patience is a virtue. So patience is key. I'm sure you guys have heard those lines before, but being patient is going to really help you succeed, right? So while you're doing these things, right, you're staying consistent with your training, you're, you know, uh, studying the game while you guys are having this time off while the team is away and whatnot, all those things are going to prepare you for your time. So you just want to be patient. As soon as you guys are patience and as soon as you guys are ready you guys are putting in that work as soon as your chance comes and your opportunity comes you guys can take it because like i said you can only control what you guys can control right so if you're controlling what you can control you guys are studying the game using your time wisely and you guys are being patient 100 percent when your time comes guys you guys will definitely get there i know i referenced 2019 a lot because it was my first pro contract in america and i've experienced so much so one thing that i learned then that i didn't do then was to be patient, grind, and wait for my opportunity. Because when it got to a point where I wasn't playing, I'd be upset, you know, and I'd let that get to my head. So make sure you guys are patient. You guys are putting in the work. I promise you guys, you guys will get there. So 
that is the last point of the video and right now i'm feeling really good so um since we've been grinding throughout the whole week you know we really killed ourselves this week we really pushed pushed ourselves hard i think i'm gonna hit the gym tomorrow and i'm also gonna do a session tomorrow so i think i'm gonna kill myself tomorrow since we missed out on that workout but tonight i think i'm gonna treat myself so uh, like I said, we're going to head out for dinner. Um, I'll try and make it decently healthy, but, uh, you know, it's good to balance it. You obviously want to be strict and you want to be consistent, but every once in a while, it's always good to keep a good balance. So then that way, you know, you're physically happy and things are good. To, uh, things are going good. So, yeah, like I said, I'm just going to hop in the shower, get ready, get changed, and then I'll head out with the boys. I'll go give me a, a haircut. And I think, honestly, he really, really blessed me, guys. What do you guys think? You guys rate the haircut or what? Agui is top, man. He really cut me up nice. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Yo, so uh, to end off the video, uh, had a great night with the boys. Went out, got some food, went to walk around downtown, tried a little bit, uh, went to shoot some hoops at an arcade. Now, you guys are going to clown me because I miss <laughs> legit every single shot. Uh, but it was just fun to get away from football a little bit, hang out with Jake, Agui, and Nick, and just, you know, kind of just get back into uh, the right mindset and just to prepare and grind the next day so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys leave a like if you guys haven't subscribed already drop that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video peace i got 48 and the last one i got four shots check this out <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry bro my goodness yeah, I got you, got you, got you. Oh my god. Oh my god. See, I wasn't trying. When you can't even explain, but I'm trying to go past that and dive into my brain. I'm one of a kind, I'm idiosyncratic, spitting in my attic, charged with no static.